What's up everyone, Techie Josh here, and today I'll be unboxing the Rise Wireless Moto G4 Play, as you can see right here in front of you. So obviously it's been quite a while since I last purchased a phone. Matter of fact, it's been so long that I can't remember which phone was my last phone that I unboxed on the channel. So, now you might be thinking, how come he's making a video today and not Wednesday? Well, because I got this phone today, and if I get a phone not on Wednesday, I'll just unbox it the same day. So, today's Sunday, I got this phone today, I'm doing a video today. But a video is still going to be out Wednesday, just so you know. Alright, so, open up the flap, you see the phone. On the right side, we got some specifications, such as a 5-inch HD display, 8 megapixel rear facing camera with a 5 megapixel front a 1.2 giga quad core processor 2800 million power battery android operating system and on the top here we get some more specifications or what the package contains prepaid moto g play 4g lte sim which is pre-installed wall charger and verizon brochures let's finally crack into this Verizon usually makes it super easy to unbox their phones, which is very nice. Alright, pull this up and out, set the phone to the side, and we get the usual micro USB, uh, micro USB cable. This is one unit, this cannot be detached to use on a computer, as you can see right there. I don't need this simply because I have like two of these. And here we got your Verizon brochures, Moto G Play. No need to look at these because, well, who really looks at them? And then we got the massive looking battery, but it's only 2800 milliamp hours, so quite a big size for only a small battery. Let's go and pop out our phone. As I abruptly hit the camera with the plastic. Let's open up our battery really quick here. It makes it easier to open it off camera, just so you know. And here's our G4 Play itself. So on the front here, you can see we have some specifications 5 inch HD display, a 2800 milliamp hour battery. 8 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel front, 16 gigabytes of ROM, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and quad core, and it has a SD card slot. Up top, we get your earpiece, rather long earpiece, front facing 5 megapixel camera, and a microphone right there, very odd place to put a microphone. On screen Android buttons, left side is clean. Bottom, we get your micro USB charging port. Right side, we get your power button. Right underneath it, we get your volume rockers. They feel rather tactile. The power button feels like it is actually uh, textured, even though my camera can't really pick it up. It feels textured. On the top, we get your headphone jack. And that's just about it. And on the back, we get your 8 megapixel rear camera, flash right underneath it, that much beloved Motorola dimple, and the Verizon branding. So, oh, and last but not least, a uh, secondary microphone. Now, it, as, it looks like there's no speaker on this device in terms of on the back, so the speaker must come out through the earpiece, which is pretty cool. So let me go ahead and pop out the back I just pulled out the little tab accidentally to show me how to take off the back once we're back here we get your 
pre-installed SIM card right there and I'm assuming right on top of it is your micro SD card slot covering up some numbers I'm going to put, put in our battery and put this back cover back on making sure I get all of it here okay the battery is now inserted in the phone and as my camera as my camera tries to focus let's go ahead and take out or take off this screen protector there we go set this to the side and there's our nice good looking Moto G4 Play let's boot it up Moto powered by Android Excuse me while I move everything out of the way really quick. Excuse for that noise. I was just adjusting myself. And uh, so it looks like I'll go ahead and stop here and I'll resume once I get this device fully set it up. Okay, so I have successfully set up the G4 Play and I gotta say the screen actually looks really nice but I'm most, sh I'm most likely sure that the camera won't be able to pick up on how nice this screen actually looks but there you go looks very crisp so let's go ahead and go to uh, settings really quick and confirm what Android version it's running also how much amount of storage it has about phone see right here Android version 6.0.1 no word if it'll get the uh, if it'll get the NuGet update but I'm assuming that it probably will because I've heard from a friend that it should be getting NuGet I just don't know when let's go to storage and USB 5.42 gigabytes used out of 16 gigabytes and you can see right here that we get 11 gigabytes roughly 11 gigabytes free out of 16 which is not so bad so you get a little more storage out of this phone compared to phones like the Ascend XT and the Warp 7 but overall the performance seems to be really snappy as you can see here just scrolling through the pages so we'll see how this phone performs in the review so be sure to stay tuned for that but for now I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first look of the Motorola G4 Play. And I'll see you again in the next video.